Hey everyone, in this video I want to go over how to get started using Yang models with the Nokia VSRs and we're going to be doing some network automation with Python. Uh, the Yang models themselves are not included in the image when installed into a EVE or inside of GNS3 simulator. Uh, we're going to get them from the public GitHub repo and we're going to SCP them inside the VSR. Um, also, we're going to use a tool that I've recently developed to help us programmatically configure uh, via SSH using NetMiko, just on standard port 22. We're going to log in, configure netconf, uh, select which Yang models to allow, um, as well as a couple of other commands. And once that's all done, then we're going to go ahead and walk through the demonstration of using netconf and Yang, Yang models. So first, we'll go ahead and clone this public repo here, just put it on our desktop. And the standard uh, default location for the schema path is just under the CF3 card and just called Yang. So we'll go ahead and replicate that. As you can see inside of our VSR on the right hand side here, there is no folder for the Yang models. So let's go ahead and go in there. And this is actually running 19, 1910. So we'll just move that. Okay, so let's just go ahead and copy that. I think it's 210. 210, yep. Okay, so I'm doing this on just a temporary router that I'm not using. Uh, this does take quite some time, so let's go ahead and move out of this and leave this be. Uh, in the meantime, we can go ahead and walk you through the tool that I developed and um, see how quick it is to get netconf. And um, actually, so let's go ahead and look at the code for it real quick. So I use this uh, library called argspar so I can pass arguments via the command line and basically you can just say which IP address you want to target node and enable the, the commands on and there's a bunch of custom stuff in here in the end it basically logs in via SSH port 22 enables netconf creates users here there's a predefined <clears throat> user password so this is our user and password for the netconf account and uh, as well as we are going to be disabling the base R13 modules, which are the old Yang models that uh, Nokia first developed. Um, and then we're going to select the auto config save, um, as well as we're going to switch from uh, the classic CLI engine over to the new model driven CLI. So let's just go ahead and do use the tool real quick and enable this. So the target node that we're going to do is going to be uh, 202. So here is our router. And this is also on 1910. And you can see it's 202. So I'll just go ahead and log out of here. Um, and as you can see, the CLI was still the classic CLI. Now let's go ahead and go into the tool. Go ahead and call it. Uh, enable netconf.py. And if I just do call the helper here, you can see what, we're, what options we got. So I'll just go ahead and say actually dash n 192 um, It's going to ask me for my password. Let's go ahead and type it in. It says admin admin. So it's connecting to the device, drops the configs, and then it actually does a backup of the configuration. And if we SSH back into this device, we should see and be, yep, there's the model-driven CLI. 
And then just a quick tip, I didn't know this one, this uh, just learned it from practice, just to switch over from the classic CLI to the new CLI. Makes things pretty easy, you know, I mean, you can't, you can't do file, um, you can't work into the file directory with the model driven CLI, so just go ahead and get back out of there now. Um, let's jump into VS Code here. So I set up a couple examples just to kind of dive into it. And just clear this. Um, here is a default netconf connection setup here. Uh, I just built this little function to just pass in the netconf username, netconf password, and the node IP. Um, I did not change the port on which we're uh, establishing a netconf connection. And so this is default. Uh, so let's just go ahead and kind of walk through this just so we can see you in action here. So this is the node that we just updated. Uh, let's go back and look at the commands real quick, actually. So here you can see netconf, password, console member, and then, like I said, no Nokia base R13 modules. And these are the first uh, Yang models that got deployed out for the Nokia devices. Um, but they have quite evolved since then. So uh, this is something that I kind of had to do here to get the hang of how to work with this NCC client, which is the library for um, programming uh, NetConf devices via Python. So. Let's just go ahead and test this out and then we'll see the type. And actually, I had too much stuff to print out there. So, you can see it's a class, NCC client, and the manager, and we are actually importing manager here. Now, let's uh, step over this once more and see. Just get the object. And there's the object. Now that's instantiated, and then this is where we start getting into the actual device. So just put a note in here to get this is a you can call this method here to get server capabilities. And let's go ahead and just loop through it, and see what we got. And I forgot to comment that. So here's all the modules that are already in this device and this is just another way to see what modules it supports. Um, so what I did here I just made a put a conditional statement to see you know, some if the word card is in any of these modules. You just quickly there's a I'm still kind of getting the hang of how to find modules and there's just so much uh, and there are a lot of tools out there to visually um, walk through them and see what, uh, you know, get what you need. So what we're going to do is also look at the schemas. And this is another, well, this is a great thing about the NCC client is that um, you're able to call a bunch of these different methods and see what's going on. So now we can get the schema of the Nokia conf card uh, Yang module. So let's print that out. You can see here. It returns everything for you. So, and this is a uh, release 19, blah, 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 blah. So let's go ahead and skip this over. So let's go ahead and dive actually a little bit deeper now. I just got this pre-configured script over here. So we're gonna actually ignore this for right now. Um, we're gonna do connect to our router here and we're actually just going to use the get config and just running so we'll see the XML config and then actually I ran that too soon here is just the return of get config in XML, um, all of NetConf replies, RPC replies will be in XML. So what we can do is if we want to pass in this filter, so let's go ahead and say we want to look at router. Um, so we can just say 
pass in this filter as card filter, although I should probably rename this, just say I was playing with this earlier. And this filter is actually quite wide because it does encompass quite a bit of info. If you look at the command, the configuration here, this is where the router ends. And yep, this can be quite a bit of info. So this filter is a little wide, but we'll just print it anyways and see what happens. Oh, it wasn't too bad. Uh, there's not much configured on this box at the moment. So uh, you can see that now instead of getting the full config, now we just get a section of what we wanted. And uh, basically what we did is we passed this to this XML namespace and this is the conf. So the Nokia Yang models do get broken up in a pretty cool pretty cool way where you can say the conf or the state um, and you get some state data. Uh, so for now this actually just works pretty well. So now if you know if you wanted to create some sort of program and use this data, um, which is structured data, it's going to be so much easier. So for me, what I've been doing with uh, anything that I've been working on and actually at work, um, I actually convert this to JSON and it's just a little bit easier for me to work with, maybe just because I'm more familiar with it. But we'll just go ahead and actually dive, you know, we'll get skip into this, get into the actual data, and then we'll just get the stuff that we actually care about and then we will call this preprint just to get some good information here huh, looks good so let's try it out again now maybe this is not the best scenario or example but um, now we've got something we can work with in either way um, so yeah this is how simple it is to get started with yang models and using netconf